Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bradrishan here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a ship I'm currently working on. I've nicknamed Poseidon, but before I get to that, I want to say thank you guys for all your support on my first ever machinima, really, on my channel, and that is uh, Gemini Drift. I'll put a link to the video down below, but you guys can easily just go to my channel and find it there. Uh, that is the first thing I've ever directed or wrote a script for or anything like that, so it's first on voice acting as well. So be sure to check that out, and if you have already checked it out, thank you guys so much for all your positive comments. Now, to go onto the ship that I've nicknamed Poseidon, I was thinking the other day about Hades, and now Hades is a quite a decent carrier type ship. Uh, it's really good at defense and offensive abilities, but I kind of wanted something that Hades would have to protect, a reason for Hades actually being there. So you guys can see Hades here, this is the a wonderful ship called Hades, and it, it's pretty sizable, but uh, I think Poseidon's a little bit bigger, so far. <laughs> Poseidon's not, nowhere near, not even a third done yet, and uh, these are actually equal in weight right now, exactly equal in weight, they're about uh, 4.9, I think, million tons or something, I can't exactly remember. It, uh, I'll, I'll go in the cockpit of uh, Hades and I, you guys can see the mass, but... And then I'll show you guys a tour of, so far, what's in Poseidon. Now, in here, the weight is... Oh no, this is 4.2... Uh, oh, yeah, 4.2 million kilograms, so... It's heavy. <laughs> it really is heavy. So, over here, I'm going to just show you guys, like I said, a walkthrough of Poseidon, but first I'm going to show you guys the outside. So, either side, you guys have three uh, sideways thrusters. You also have uh, two four thrusters either side as well. I'm obviously going to have more at the back because I don't think two either side is going to power the whole thing. And on the front for reverse thrusters, you have eight as uh, opposed to Hades that only has two, poor thing. So, this can slow down quite quickly. And the reason why I say Poseidon is because the front part here just, I don't know, it just calls Poseidon to me. Uh, so, yeah, but I will let you guys name it, so uh, leave a comment down below of suggestions for names for this ship here. It has six thrusters on top for downwards, and there, there will be more on the back as well. And this is just the front section of it, and there is also six down below. Now I'm going to show you guys the internals of the ship, starting from the top to the bottom. So on the top row you have the, uh, I think it's the engineering section, actually sorry, no, that's the... Uh, that's the second row. So in here, we have bedding and compartments for engineers. So if we open up here, you guys will see that he has a neat little bed to sleep in and a light, a night light, <laughs> and that's basically it for their rooms. And there's six on this floor, I believe, right now. But I can make that go further back, so you guys can see that there's, like I said, one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, four on this floor. And if we take the stairs down to the second floor, you guys can see that there is more rooms here for people to stay in. So this is where all the engineers will sleep in, because the engineering section is just over there, so we'll get to that in a second. So before going into that room, an engineer would want to stock up on his tools and equipment, so he'll come into this room here, where he'll store all his tools and everything like that in the cargo containers or on the benches here, and he'd run out go into this room here, which is the main engineering bay, which has six reactors in it, and there's actually a lot more hidden uh, up in here as well, uh, it, all the way to the front, so <laughs> there's that there, but we'll put that away for now. Now, I've, I've, done, I've laid this out kind of as uh, legitimately as possible, I guess you would say, uh, or as realistically as possible, having a barriers to keep people away from the sides of the reactors and having a walkway so uh, the engineers can actually come up and stand right here and access all the reactors at their own will so this works out quite nicely for them so they can put stuff in there and you know you know you got the fence all along there to stop people from obviously going up at any other points which is kind of cool now upstairs is where you're going to be repairing all the engines so to get up there you'll take the engineering ladder which comes all the way up and up here you have your own walkway with a safety barrier so you can't fall off the edge and here is all the engines, I think these are all the upwards and downwards engines as well. So they can access and repair all those they need to, and they can just go back down the ladder. Obviously not fall down the ladder, but I can do that because I don't get hurt just yet. 
So that's it for this uh, engineering section. I quite like how this turns out and how this looks, it's really quite cool. And here's all the uh, sideways thrusters as well. I haven't yet made access to them yet, but I might do something over here that'll allow you to get to it. So it, once the engineers have done, finished with the day, they'll put their tools back, they'll go to sleep and rest, and that's all good. Now th that's the basics of what I've done so far. Down in this section here, this is going to be a sort of a, a bomb shelter or a combat uh, shelter for uh, civilians or engineers who aren't repairing right now. So basically if the ship goes into combat or it's under attack, it can send all the civilians or all the VIPs into this room here that will be heavily armored. Now obviously there's only you know that wall right there, but I'm going to make this probably about up to here. So you're going to have all these walls uh, thick of just armor, so they're going to have to try and shoot through four walls of armor just to get to where all the VIPs are currently resting. So even from the top it's almost impossible, and from the bottom I would rely on shooting from there. The easiest point to get to these people would be through this wall here. But I'll shoot it at the end to show you guys how thick or how well the armor does. Now note this is only light armor, not medium, uh, sorry, light armor, not heavy armor. So uh, you can imagine how sturdy this ship would be with heavier armor. Now down here we have a smaller engineering section here with all the downwards engines where they can access them as well. I might put more uh, crew chambers down here as well. And up here you just have the forward thrusters and I haven't really planned this room out all too well just yet. But that's it for the basics of this uh, engine, well this ship itself actually. Uh, you guys can see that the walls are quite thick everywhere. It's too thick on top to get to the crew quarters and I think it's about four or something thick along here. And it's quite thick as it goes down so even down here it might be heavily armored as well. But to show you guys the armor itself, I'm going to build a wall along here that will demonstrate uh, how much of an impact the ship can take before you can actually gain access to the VIPs. So we'll build a quite a wall out there. Build one along here. Let's go back here. There we go, okay. I'll just tidy it up once I'm done. <laughs> and then we'll go this one here. So the missiles or whatever that will be fired upon this will have to get through all of these layers of armor here as well. So I mean, yes, it will be a little bit cramped for all the VIPs, but at least they'll be protected, so... And here is the final wall. Now, this is pretty sizable. I mean, for a space engineer, at least the size of the person, you can easily fit quite a few people in here, and seats and beds and uh, whatnot that'll allow them to be protected. And there you have all the walls that they'll have to try and shoot through just to get to the... Uh, just to get to the people, so that's quite a lot. So now I'm going to blow the ship up basically with, um, what ship should I say? I'll take one of the light drones because they're quite small and nimble and they're quite easy to control, so we'll take this one here. Which is a slightly armoured, slightly slower variant. Now in the latest update of the multiplayer update, which I have actually had a chance to play around and it's actually really quite fun, the video I made on my multiplayer impressions was simply at that point the multiplayer was broken, but it is now being worked on. It's actually a lot better. I ha I'm yet to do another video on it, so stay tuned for that as well. So, but also in that update, there has been these little red dots that have been added. Now, these are for each weapon you have. So if I was to have six Gatling guns, you'll see six red dots. And there's also a crosshair, but because I've got my, uh, I've edited my HUD files, the crosshair is invisible for me, so I won't have to worry about that. But the missiles also have it, so when I'm toggling through, I'll show you guys the HUD. So you can see missiles as the two are close together, and the Gatling guns are further apart. You guys can see that on the ship here. So they do uh, line up respectively, and that's exactly where you're going to hit. So that's really quite cool. But now I'm going to try and see how I, or how many shots it takes to get through to the VIPs. The enemies might not even know where the VIPs are. So let me rotate the camera around here. And I'll turn the HUD off and I'll fly down a little bit so the red dots line up and we will fire some missiles. So there we go, there's a, actually I'll just go first person because it's a little bit easier. So first impact, uh, didn't really get through anything actually, I think you got through a few of the layers here, I think maybe one more shot will allow it to get through. Is that true? Did it get through? I think it got through actually. So, oh. Now 
Just note that it isn't one rocket per shot, that's two rockets, so that's two rockets penetrating here. So that's four rockets to get to uh, this part here, and only slightly does it damage it. Uh, well, I mean, it gets rid of the wall, yes, but I'm pretty sure the people will be safe in the further up places or elsewhere. But you guys can see that the ship can kind of take a beating. Now, you can imagine how much more of a beating it can take if it had heavy armor instead of light armor, which is something I'm really looking forward to, at least for this ship anyways. So let's bombard it a few more times here. Obviously we can easily get through to uh, some of the higher up places such as the crew quarters, but even then it doesn't get uh, en enough to damage them. In a lot of cases I've actually had it so that the rockets don't bypass all the walls. I think if I get rid of one rocket just so I can show you guys how it works. Uh, let me stick one rocket on here to show you guys what I've been talking about. So I'll put one on right there. There we go. So obviously because like I said I'm using two rockets so it's basically double the damage. So if we put one here, does it get through? Oh right, I'm up to the construction area. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to bomb the whole thing. But you guys can see that it is uh, pretty decently protected. I said if it was under attack I'll get all the people to go into the civilian area. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's just the staircase at the end so that's nothing all too special. I think getting through the top would be maybe difficult? I'm not too sure. I think maybe one shot can allow you to get through the top. At least the weak spots anyway. Yeah, there we go. So it seems like the missiles to go through two blocks. Oh no, it didn't get through that one. That should have only been two. Too thick, unless... Okay. So it doesn't get through it straight away. It kind of takes a few shots to get through the armor. But, you know, nonetheless, the ship is going to be also protected by two or three Hades class vessels with all of its drones as well, so you can just see what that would be like. Now the front obviously isn't app protected, but you know, it does does what it does, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to leave this here uh, with me blowing up my ship, and I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.